Hello, Internet. Welcome to the Disney Afternoon Collection's Darkwing Duck. I'm Great Yami Sam, and, uh, well, this is a game that uh, came out, I think, in 1993. It was near the end of the NES's lifespan. I think the last Disney Afternoon Collection game to come out was either Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2 or DuckTales 2. Um, I didn't have this game as a child. I really wanted it, but uh, the stores around here didn't carry it or were sold out of it. It may have come in very short supply, I don't really know. All I know is I really wanted this game when I was a kid and never had it. Uh, you're probably wondering why you can hear audio in the background of me. Uh, the audio didn't take on the first take, so I'm recording over it. My apologies. So, this right here will be my very first playthrough of the game. I'd like to make note that this game was made by Capcom. All of these game, games were made by Capcom. Um, you'll, as you know, they were the creators of, Me well, the producers of Mega Man, which is why they tend to handle like a Mega Man game. And as you can hear, this is my sad attempt at a playthrough. Um, I really like the music for this game. Uh, I like the way the game handles, control-wise. These jumping mechanics, where the hanging and dropping and stuff are really interesting. Uh, this is a game that definitely makes you think. This right here is reminiscent of the drops in the Gutsman stage in Mega Man 1. As you can see, I'll, I jump up here on the spikes just to uh, see if there's anything I might be missing, because you never can tell in these games. And for those of you who are watching me for the first time, uh, I do primarily a gaming channel. I do I like to do comedy and stuff like that as well. Uh, I'm the host of Eyes on the Orzy, a Final Fantasy XIV show. I do the show with my friends Beth and JD, also known as Siri and Luna. You should definitely check out those videos. We have a story arc that uh, we've been working on, which is going to end up crossing over Final Fantasy XI and Final Fantasy XIV. It's going to be a drawn out arc that's uh, being redrafted. So, you should definitely look forward to that. You can definitely tell that this is an NES title because that mob went off screen after I had killed it and it comes back so it's a recycling mob. Great for spamming, trying to get one-ups and stuff like that. And here we are right at the end of the stage already. If you like seeing videos like this out of me, make sure you like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. I have fun doing these videos. Uh, I don't want to be known as primarily a Final Fantasy XIV channel, although it is one of my favorite games. Uh, I have a good time doing this stuff. 
and really enjoy making these videos. So if you want to keep seeing them, let me know. Uh, I try to always interact with anybody who comments on my videos. I'd love to do another theory video in the future. I have a lot. I had a lot of fun doing the theory video that I did before, even though it was debunked the very day that the uh, patch came out. It was still a lot of fun. You can check those videos out on this channel as well. Um, I'm going to start doing a shout-out series, as I promised my good friend John Patterson. You guys uh, can check out his channel. I will add it to my favorites. He's a good friend of mine, a former co-worker. He started doing some uh, Resident Evil Let's Plays. I highly recommend you go check out. So, what's up, John? Big ups to you, buddy. Definitely check out uh, Sari's channel. Uh, she is on my featured list on the front of my page. And while I'm sitting here doing this, I want to give a, a big shout out to uh, a lot of the people who give me inspiration to keep doing this. Uh, my fiance Brandy, love you, babe. Uh, Siri, JD, most of all, you guys who watch, I really appreciate everything you can do. You guys are awesome. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. If you like what you see, like, comment, favorite, share, and subscribe. I'm Great Yami Sam, and I'll see you next time.